with the the charge, the plea that I took, the 15 year alpha plea, I think it was like, you know, you have to do 20% before you see the parole board, which was three years on 15. They served me out on that. They wanted me to admit to doing all this stuff. I wasn't admitting to anything because I didn't do anything wrong. I said the same thing I've been saying. Boom, serve out. The rest of my time. So I'm thinking, oh, and that crushed me again. Crushed my family. So I'm like, all right, I got at least this many more years. So I'm trying to get it down even lower than that by doing like different vocational classes. You get 90 days off your sentence. You do a masonry class, 90 days off your sentence. Kitchen class, 90 days off your sentence. So I did like all these programs to knock that 15 years, got it down to seven. And uh, read the Bible a lot, did all them classes, visits with my family. I think I worked out, walked loops with my headphones on. Uh, played softball once or twice. Uh, that's that's really what I did now. This this next question, can you can you mention them by name, whether you did or didn't know them? Um, why do you think your name was placed in the name of suspects and perpetrators in this case by witnesses Victoria Caldwell, Rosie Christ, and Venetia Stubblefield? I have no no idea why. Uh, I didn't know Victoria Caldwell. I knew who Rosie Christ was, but I knew her as a, a different name, Lynn Caldwell. I never knew her as a Rosie Christ. I think when I was younger, my mom and I used to drive a church van. They might have been on a church van or something like that. But I was like a kid then, so I don't remember 